This is question 18. The College Board is asking us to solve an equation with a radical in it, and there's two approaches. One is to teach this like a quadratic, and to do that I'm going to write y equals root x, which means y squared equals x if I square both sides. So this is y squared minus 2y minus 3 equals 0, and I can factor that. I've got y and y, y and y, 1 and 3. 3, the 3 will be negative and the 1 is positive. Checking the FOIL, y squared minus 3y plus y is minus 2y minus 3. So that's the correct factorization. So either y, y plus 1 equals 0, which means y equals negative 1, but y is root x, so that's root x equals negative 1, which does not make sense, or if a product equals 0 and the first factor is not 0, the second factor has to be 0. y minus 3 equals 0. Add 3 to both sides. y equals 3, which means root x equals 3. But they're not asking for root x, they're asking for the value of x. Squaring both sides, x equals 9. Now, since I was dealing with square roots and squaring stuff, let's check that. 9 minus twice root 9, so the 9 minus 2 times 3 is 9 minus 6 is 3, minus 3 is 0, so yes, that does work. The answer is 9. Alternatively, I could solve for root x and then square both sides. So I have x minus 2 root x minus 3 equals 0. Let's add 2 root x to both sides. So x minus 3 equals 2 root x. Square both sides. x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 4x. Subtract 4x from both sides. x squared minus 10x plus 9 equals 0. And that factors x minus 1, x minus 9, and FOIL gives me x squared minus 9x minus another x is minus 10x plus 9. So either x minus 1 equals 0, x equals 1, or x minus 9 equals 0, x equals 9. Now we've got a problem. They ask for the value of x, not one possible value. So only one of these actually works. So let's substitute them into the original equation. Not this one I got by squaring, but the original. 1 minus twice root 1 is 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Minus 3 is negative 4. x equals positive 1 does not work. It's what we call an extraneous solution. How about 9? We already checked that that worked. That's the answer we got here, and it works. 9 minus 2 times 3 is 9 minus 6 is 3. Minus 3 equals 0. So 9 is, again, the answer. If you recognize that this can be treated as a quadratic, it's easier to solve. Just remember to square your answer when you're done. If you don't recognize that and just get the radical term by itself and square it to get rid of radicals, that also puts you in polynomials and we can again factor. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.